What's up everybody? Welcome to Coffee House Airways. Today we're flying off into the wild blue yonder doing what makes us all happy and that's flying. Let's jump into this aerial plane here, set some things up. How's everybody doing today? Happy Monday. Throttle is set to low. Master ignition switches. Got our avionics buses on. Master ignition switch set to on. Let's go ahead and start this beast up. Here we go. And clear prop. All right, we've got Breaks and contact, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing? I'm doing well because I'm about to go flying. Flying makes me happy. This is my home airport where I learned how to fly, so I thought it was only right. Although someone needs to mow the doggone grass, guys. Someone needs to get on it out here. It's falling apart. All right, let's get in the air. Barber traffic, 5-7 Echo, taxi out for runway 27 departure. Hey, Hanzi, what's up? Thanks for liking my stream. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well today. Going for a little flight here in the Cub. Let's take a look down our north-south runways to make sure we have no one. Uh, I know, nice lawn, right? DDA, what's up, dude? Hey, Louie, how's it going on YouTube? How's everybody doing? Coming in on our north-south runway. Back taxi down for a departure on runway 27. Have you got the Spitfire? Nah, I haven't. I haven't made the uh, made the purchase yet. Is it sweet? Have you got that one yet?
I got a new plane. DDA, what'd you get? Inquiring minds want to know. Tell us. I've been building stuff. Building on my desk. Starting on a remodel project on our house. Do you remember me? It's Froxty. Oh yeah, I remember you. You changed your name. How you been, Froxty? Yep, awesome to fly, but taxiing is hard. Oh, I bet. I know the Corsair, the F4U, was really hard to taxi from what everybody said that flew the real ones. A free-wing T-45 Ghost Hawk 90E at millimeter EDF jet. Oh, that's awesome. Heck yeah, dude. Let's go. Alright. Let's uh, do our engine run-ups here real quick. Get ourselves into the air, shall we? Okay, we've got uh, oil pressure in the green. Everything's looking good. Oil temperature is up and in the green. We've set our altimeter to, to niner, niner, 2 barometric pressure. Altimeter 1080 at this field, so we're looking good. All right, we're going to back this thing back down. Getting good uh, on the alternator there. Let's go ahead outside the airplane. Let's flip on our taxi lights and our strobe lights. There we go. Got our landing. No beacon on this airplane, so we're good. It's on my YouTube channel. Oh, cool. I'll check it out. Did you get the 32 gigs? I have not yet. I'm getting 64, and the 64 gig kit that I want is not in stock at the moment. So as soon as it comes back in stock, I am going to be buying it because I'm pretty excited about having more RAM. I was going to go up to Micro Center and make a trip with a couple of my buddies, but we just, uh, they have been busy with uh, sports and work and things like that, so we haven't got that done yet. So I may just order it if it comes in stock. So yeah, so we're rocking the 16 still for now. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we go good. All right, freedom of controls. Make sure the uh, passenger isn't hitting our controls inside. All right, let's announce our intentions. Barber traffic, 57 Echo, departure runway 27. Departing runway heading 270, maintain 1500 feet. Alright, we are airborne, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check our, our trims here, get ourselves trimmed up a little bit. There we go, some level level flight or a little, little tick of a climb here as we climb out. Or a lot of a climb as we climb out. You know. So what have you been up to, Froxty? Talk to me, Goose. Nice graphics. Yeah, it's not bad. I gotta be honest. I'm really, I'm really uh, impressed with everything. Even running on 16 gigs of RAM, this thing looks incredible. flights are now 16 gigs. Yeah, it seems like they've done some optimization in that in the game, which is super nice. I just wanted to fly today, guys. I've been working so hard, and flying makes me happy. So here we are. Just gonna float around, just do some aimless flying for, the, for no reason at all, other than I just want to be in the air, and I like it. How's that sound? trims here. Get our VSI looking good. Look 
who's sneaking around here. Hey, Rudiger, how's it going, dude? It's me sneaking around here. I just wanted to fly. I haven't flown in a minute. I've been working my tail off. So it's time to have a little fun. How you doing today? It gets just so. All the skate by me are good. Ich bin beschäftigt, aber all the skate good. Thanks for liking my stream. 50 stars for sneaking around. Look at that. DDA, thanks for liking the stream. I appreciate it. Alexander Orbegasso, thanks for following a few hours ago before we went live. I appreciate that greatly. Hey, Felix, what's going on? How you been? Sounds great. Yeah, pretty fun stuff. I love it. Thanks for the stars, Rudiger. I love you, bro. Hey, controller ballin'. How's it going? What plane is that? This is the Piper Cub. It's the Savage Cub. Um... I will flip outside so you can see it. Hey, what's up, Wrangler Girl? So this is the Savage Cub. I love this. I would I would fly one of these in real life all day. Come on, Deutsch. Yeah! I have a friend Deutsch and Firma gearbeitet in 2002. So I have a self skilled. Meine Chef sagt mir, dass du kannst nicht Deutsch lernen. So I have a Kinderbuch gekauft. And I mag mein Bestes. This is, this is Nick Prima, but ah, all's good. I mag meine Wörter rückwärts uh, ein uh, manchmal, aber du verstehst mich, ich denke. <laughs> Everything is fine over the pond. Nothing new is happening. Oh, that's cool. Well, that's good. I'm flying over a pond right now. I used to go kayaking in this pond all the time when I lived down here, and it was super fun. I was buzzing all the little runways I used to practice in. I just wanted to fly today, guys, and the airplane I used to fly is most like this Savage Cub, so this is why I'm flying this. If you have a German accent, it sounds funny. <laughs> yeah, I try. I, uh, my boss, once I did start speaking German around him, I never told him, and, uh, one day he told me something rude, and I turned to uh, I turned around and I answered him in German after I was doing German for about six months, and I never told him. And like, so then we spoke German all the time. So I did get a lot of practice, but it, uh, you know, that's what Swansea got him for you. So you have a Nick Deutsch nine long at sight gets broken. Don't make yourself smaller than you are your German accent. Ah, oh, vielen Dank, mein Bruder, from Uber der Meer. Or the or the Ozean. I have all of my events for guests. Hey, thanks for all the likes, Brian Johnson. What's up, dude? Ross Allen, how's it going? Kevin Drain, welcome, everybody. I'm just cubbing it today, guys. I just wanted to fly. I've been working my tail off and haven't flown, and I love flying. So here we are. Ich bin gut. <laughs> ich bin auch gut. Ich bin fliegen. So Leben ist gut. C is a lake. That's right. Yeah, and then a mare, mare is like uh, what, uh, like a uh, like a sea, like the and then like Lake Erie would be that, right? And then Ozean is the big pond. I'm gonna buzz this runway. I used to land here and get pancake breakfast. It was super fun. Heck, we might even go ahead and do a landing. See if we can butter the bread with our new yoke here. I have not even checked our winds. I didn't check our altitude. But we're in on a nice final here. Let's go ahead and set her down, shall we? Oh, look at that. Butter the bread. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We'll just do a wheels-on landing here and just go ahead and take back off, shall we? I have worked on a campsite in Germany in the summer from four years ago. What is the airport code? Um, so the airport code for this one, I don't even know. Um, the one that I took off at is 2D1. Here, I'll fly over here. Meet me at KCAK. Uh, -A -A Comfort Camping Sea Burger. <laughs> Yeah, meet me, uh, if you want to jump in and stream snipe Hanzi and fly with me, uh, meet me at uh, K-C-A-K, -K, 
and that's the one that's dead ahead of me over here. I'll fly over there, so by the time you get loaded in, I'll land and meet you there. Lake is sea, pond is teich, sea is mer. Yeah, and then ozean is ozean, ocean. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Glad to see everybody. How you been, control of ballin? My computer is not here. It is getting a Ryzen 9 facelift. Nice, nice. Okay, I thought you were. Uh, I thought you were gonna ask what airport code so you could meet me. Uh, meet me flying. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go buzz some other places. Ryzen 9 facelift is a good thing, sir. I'm going to be giving mine a Ryzen 9 facelift at some point, I believe. Uh, it feels good to just be sitting in this chair again. 850 watt power supply. Oh, heck yeah, bro. That's good stuff right there. Not mad about that. You'll have to teach me some Dutch, DDA. Maybe I can learn to talk with you too someday. Low and slow, that's what Cubs do, guys. I'll have to check out your uh, your plane video, DDA. Sounds good, man. I'll do my best. I'll look up some stuff and then I'll surprise you one day. How's that? That golf course would be a nice little uh, uh, emergency landing spot if I ever had to. That's just really confusing for me. They talk English in the video, though. Well, that's good, because I don't know Dutch yet. I wouldn't understand you. I know this isn't legal, but I used to love flying in the airplane like this. It was so fun. I literally used to fly around on the treetops, and it was great. So this is actually real. This dirt uh, down in this area is actually this this color. It's the richest fertilized soil. Like it's not fertilized. That's just the way the dirt looks in this little area, and it's the richest soil anywhere around this part of the country. Kind of cool. Looking for squirrels in the trees. All <laughs> right. The Eichhörnchen. But by uns, we have a feeling strifen hirnchen. Let me see the video of my new T45. Yeah, send it to me on Messenger. If you did already, then I will check it out. Still, every time I fly this, I am in awe of how amazing everything looks. Your messenger. Okay, cool. I'll check it out. 
great trees did you add more yeah I played around um, with a few things actually um, I messed around with not only the settings inside of uh, flight sim trying to optimize them a little more I also messed around with the stream settings too so now I'm streaming in 60 frames per second instead of uh, 48 so it smoothed out my stream um, considerably so we're getting a little bit more there as well so good stuff Max Trees doesn't lose frames, I was told. Yeah, I raised them up a little bit, so I'm glad to see that you guys can notice that. As soon as I'm done flying today, guess what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to get on my bicycle and go ride, because it is so nice outside today. It's like 60 degrees out and sunny and absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, this is really fantastic. I am super not uh, super not upset about it. This looks great. So this forest I'm flying over is a wildlife reserve and park, state park. Sometimes I go ride mountain bikes here. It's a pretty fun little spot. People ride horses here and. Cool. Now I gotta drive an hour to get there, but you know, it happens when you move. Are you on high settings? Yes, I'm on high settings, um, and then some stuff I have turned all the way up. Like I said, sometimes when I get into the cities, that's where I get into trouble. We need a coffee mug decal on the wing. I know, right? I need to make my own skin, but I've looked into how to do that, and my one buddy Steelhead was telling me it's pretty intense. You got to know some 3D software. And uh, I don't do 3D work, and so, um, yeah, I may try to start looking into flightsim.to, though, and get some liveries that I can at least download something different. But I know that would be kind of fun. We are supposed to get 71 degrees next Monday. Yeah, that's how we are, too. It's supposed to be in the high 60s, low 70s next week. Um, things are looking really nice around here. It's only the 16 gigs that's letting you down. Yeah, my CPU and my graphics card are actually good. My my Ryzen 7 is doing really well. It's only at about 30 or 40 percent, my 8-core processor. And my 5700 XT graphics card is surprisingly doing well. Um, it runs at about 50 to 60 percent. It's my RAM that runs at 100 percent. So I definitely don't like that. I will say this, guys. This new yoke makes me want to fly this nonstop all day. It's so good. It literally feels like a real airplane. Like, I'm, I'm so excited about it. I live in Cleveland. It's still the same state, but just not down south where we used to live. We're in Cleveland. Suburbs, but, you know closest major city. Get the Spitfire, you'll like it. Yeah, I think that would be super awesome, dude. How you doing, Ross? How's things going, man? Incorrect heading indicator. Well, we'll fix that. I don't really care because I'm flying visual flight rules. VFR. Sometimes I do IFR. I follow roads, but... Hey, Steve, how's it going, man? Thanks for liking the stream. Welcome back to Coffee House Airways. Did a little change of our name. It's easier to say. Good to know it's warmer here in MT than it is in Cleveland. Yeah, I know, right?
Hey, Tony Granlin, what's going on, dude? Thanks for liking uh, my post the other day, too, by the way. Um, I have a second channel called Coffee House Gaming on Twitch, and that's where we do Fortnite, Call of Duty, and all that stuff, because I still like to do other games. I'm a variety kind of kind of guy. So, yeah, if you guys... Uh, I just didn't want to ever do Fortnite on this channel, because a lot of people come to this channel to watch Flying, and I don't want people to go, Ugh, you're doing Fortnite? I don't want to watch that. So I'm kind of keeping my channel separated that way, you know. If I do variety stuff, it'll be on my other Twitch channel. So if you haven't followed me there, it's coffeehouse underscore gaming instead of coffeehouse underscore airways. So, yeah, hit me up. Coffeehouse gaming. I play with my daughter and my wife and my friends. Play Fortnite and Call of Duty and stuff on there. And we have a good time, so it's still fun. Still get to hang out with everybody. And if you don't mind watching us play that game. But if you do mind and you like flying only, well, then you're in the right place. So we're just trying to keep things. we got to keep them separated. Isn't that right? Play Arma 3. It's awesome. Okay, I'll check it out. I love different types of games. I love variety games and stuff, so... Um, there's even times when I stream uh, Super Mario Brothers from... I, like, I still have my old Nintendo. So, I don't want to wreck my Facebook algorithm on um, my flying page, and I also don't want to make you guys watch stuff you don't want to watch if you're here for flying. So, yeah. But if you like just hanging out, Coffee House is always open. Come on in. How are the girls doing? They are good. In fact, they are outside right now swinging on the swing set. I built my daughter a huge swing set last year. Um, it's like 13 feet high, so that way, lots of swing leverage room, you know? You got lots of, uh, uh, what do they call that? A fulcrum point. So it's 13 feet high, and it's made out of uh, six by sixes and cemented it in the ground. Um, and so, yeah, pretty cool. Mayfield traffic, Piper Cub 57 Echo, final approach to runway 27. Touch and go, departing out to the west. Yeah, they're doing really well. I will tell them that you said hello. They may have even seen it, but I don't know that because they watch on Twitch. My rudder trim is way out of whack, guys. Why is my rudder trim so out of whack? Greetings to me too. Yeah, I will tell them, DDA. Folks, show. Sure. Alright, we gotta figure out what's going on here. My rudder trim is all kinds of crazy. Why is my airplane crabbing sideways like this? My airplane will not center up, it's flying sideways. Is this some kind of glitch? I wondered why things were acting weird. An easier side slip, I know. This is so bizarre. Why is my plane flying crooked? Yeah, but watch. When I step on the rudder to center it up, it like throws everything way off, and then the camera still won't center. It's like my camera won't center up. In here, it looks fine. Let's look at our turn and bank indicator here. Let's get ourselves flying level. Yeah, but I don't... My rudder cable broke. I know, right? wondering if it is a... I wonder if I have a turn and bank indicator in here. I don't know if I do. Let's get ourselves flying level here. Zoom in on this dash panel and see if we have a turn and bank indicator. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now let's play with our rudder trim. It looks like the aircraft is flying straight according to the turn and bank indicator. then what would be the problem here? Just restart, low frames, automated knife edge. I know! It is an automated knife edge. This is nuts.
Tiger can't approach. Piper Cub 57 Echo. Entering the pattern at a 45 from the northwest. Landing on runway 23. Yeah, this is very weird. The turn and bank indicator shows straight. This view shows straight. But when I get down close to the ground, it looks like I'm going crooked. Do a one-wheel landing. I know, but it's kind of strange. We may have to go in and take a look at that again. Let's see if we can do a landing on Route 77 South right here. These guys would be freaking out. Why is the traffic going the wrong way on the opposite left side of the highway right there? Bizarre. Yeah, see, I'm coming in crooked. See, because this would be straight right there. But now that's making me go crooked. Yeah, something's super weird, guys. Not, uh, not cool at all. It's like I'm getting some adverse yaw up in here or something. Like, the whole screen is skewed. Look, I am totally flying sideways up this road. Hey, what's up, Reflex? How's it going? You have more account names than anybody that I know, dude. <laughs> Kyoix, fake Kyoix, Reflex. You got so many names, dude. Try another airplane. Yeah, let's go try another airplane and see, because this is super weird. Um, let's go to general. Let's go make sure that my um, flight controls aren't sensitivity messed up on my alpha SciTech rudder pedals here. Sensitivity. Okay, so my rudder is definitely centering when I go back to the center. So yeah, we're good. Let's bring my dead zones up to like 5% instead and just be done there. Apply and save. By the default plane. Yeah, let's just go try this. Let's just go do a landing in the Cessna. And main menu. <laughs> How you been, Reflex? Kyoix? I have been good. I'm flying some planes, because it's what I like. And yesterday I dropped two dubs in Fortnite. How do you like the new season? Have you played the new season, or do you not play Fortnite anymore? Flight training. Cessna. General aviation. First solo flight. I always like to use this as a warm-up anyway, so let's go check it out. Yeah, we'll try the default plane here, Hansi, and see how it goes. Like Mike, his coordinated turns cub. Yeah, exactly. I love doing coordinated turns. That's kind of fun. Forgot to tighten the clamps on the rudder cable. Yeah, I know, dude. Yeah, I like it, uh, Kyoix. It's I think it's really good. I love the crafting thing. It kind of gives you something to do and something to, to like search for and find. Like, do I remember this, Eric? What is it? Do I remember what? All right, here we go. Let's do our first solo flight. It's time. It's Your time. First solo flight. Yes, it is. I'll be watching from the ground in radio All right. contact. Carb heat off because you don't take off with carb heat. First notch of flaps. I mean the coordinated turn some RC after hours. Oh, yes. Mike, that Remember guy's so crazy. I haven't seen him since sessions, Flight Fest last year. Okay, let's get the parking Look, brake off. See you on the other side. Parking brake is off. Carb heat is off. Throttle is set. Mixture is set to rich. Flaps are at one notch. And we are... Ready for takeoff, ladies and gentlemen. So, the 320 you like. Did you ever hear the story of Mike's Daredevil Cub? I don't know if I did. It's, it's possible I could have been present for it, too, but I, I just don't remember. So, the 320 that you like. Yeah, I haven't, uh, haven't messed much with the 320. I'm not, an air, I'm not a, uh, a jet guy for the most part. I like general aviation stuff. See, now this looks good. It must have just been a glitch with that airplane. Right, let's get this 
this little girl going down the runway at 60 here. Lift her right off, and here we go, in the air, guys. I'm off the 5,400 feet. It's beautiful. Doggone beautiful. Just Devil Cup. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm not familiar then, because it's not ringing a bell. You'll have to tell me that story sometime. All right, let's clean up our flaps and continue climbing. You know, it's funny, if this was a little bit bigger of an airplane inside, I would consider flying one of these. The Cessna 152 is a nice little airplane. It's conservative on fuel, still does 100 knots to get you somewhere. Not really that bad, you know? All right, let's do a nice standard rate turn as we climb through to 5,400 feet and watch the sun glint across our dashboard ever so gracefully. In three, two, one. Look at that, so beautiful. Okay, we're gonna keep climbing through to about 57 or 5,800 feet. I would have thought they would have told you at uh, Flight Fest around the campfire. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. I, it's been, I've been to so many of those and been around so many people when I go to those, it's, it's hard to put it all together anymore. It's usually two o'clock in the morning when we're sitting around the campfire, so I don't remember everything that we talk about. It's been years. I was actually on that podcast a couple of times. Pretty fun. Those are good guys. I miss Chris and Mike. Alright, let's trim this girl back here for level flight and go ahead and drop our RPMs down to about 2200. I cannot wait to get a trim wheel because it's way more like flying a real airplane with a trim wheel, and I feel like I'm gonna have way better control over my aircraft. Hey, uh, Kyoix, um, my Twitch channel, which is our old Shadow Squad channel um, that the girls used to stream on, is now called Coffee House Gaming. Um, hit me up on there uh, with a follow if you're not following that one anymore because I'm streaming on that page again. Um, and the girls play with me on there sometimes. So uh, we just kind of made it all into Coffee House brand. So we still stream Fortnite quite a bit. So if you want to hang out with us on there, just follow Coffee House underscore gaming on Twitch. Or it's the old Shadow Squad if you still are followed there. All right, so now we are in our pattern. Let's go ahead and kick carb heat on and drop ourselves down to about 1800 throttle. Let's get the nose up a little bit, drop our first notch of flaps. Looking good. Cessna 57 Echo turning base leg for runway 21 Sedona. Alright, let's float this thing in, shall we? Get ourselves down to about 1500 RPMs is good. Car heat's on, flaps are up, we're at 60, so we gotta get the nose down just a little bit. Going a little too slow for my liking. I should be about 70 or 80 knots on my downwind. That's looking a little bit better. Cessna 57 Echo turning final approach on way 21 Sedona. power out just a little bit more. We're a little bit high, which is good. Just float this thing right in there. 65, about 70 knots, so we're looking good coming across our final. That was the other training video you got, you recommended. Um, I haven't finished the IFR one yet. In fact, I'm going to start doing that tonight. Um, and I love them so far, so yes, I totally recommend them. Alright, let's get our second notch of flaps put in here. Drop this thing right over the numbers and aim for those two little white patches right out there in the middle of the runway. Throttle is all the way off. Flaps are full. 
Airspeed is dead on at 65. We are looking beautiful, guys. Let's butter the bread. Oh, this is looking nice. Oh, that, that was just doggone gorgeous right there, guys. You weren't really supposed to oh, land you don't know what you're talking about, lady. It's you well told done. me to don't land me on 2 1. Just not what was expected. At this point, I think it's probably best if we start the lesson over. I think you need to get another cup of coffee. You seem angry. Alright, well, that airplane worked good. Let's try the Cirrus out of, uh,. Just try a different airplane since that one seems to want to be cantankerous today. Maybe on a restart it'll work good. Uh, Cirrus SR-22 departure. Runway KCAK. And let's depart runway 23. Set as departure. And flight conditions, clear skies in the daytime and let's fly wrong runway I did the same thing <laughs> yeah even though there is only one runway and I've done that like 5,000 times and yet sometimes if you don't follow that little tick marks in the pattern exactly the way she wants you to we came in high so we probably didn't trip the one when we turned final and then it yells at you so you know it happens Right on. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, let's check our flaps. Got one notch of flaps. Trims are set 13%. Yeah, no. Let's go to about 7% for takeoff. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Barometer 2, 9 or, nine or 2. Heading indicator correct. Parking brake off. And let's get out of here. Cirrus 57 Echo. Departing at runway 23 Acre Camp. There's our 73 knots. We can lift this bird in beautifully into the air. Oh, look at that, guys. That's doggone amazing. Okay. All right, flaps up. We're clean. Trim this bird out for level flight. Go we'll shoot ourselves a buttered bread in the Cirrus. Nice yoke. Oh, Hansi, I'm telling you, dude, this thing's uh, absolutely amazing. I love this thing. Hands down, probably the best investment I've made into my flight simulator situation, not gonna lie. here on this heading and climb through to about 2200. Now we're going to ease off our power a little bit. Start into a nice turn. Every time I fly this plane, I mean, it is literally like flying a Porsche. It's so fast. Yeah, the Honeycomb Throttle, the Bravo, that's the one I want to get next with the trim wheel on it. 
and a bunch of the extra switches for flaps and gear and stuff like that as I start learning to do multi-engine and stuff. So yeah, that's definitely coming very soon. It's available here in Australia. Nice. I might check the website today and see if it's available here now. Because maybe if it's available there, they got some more in stock here in the U.S. as well. Acker can Sears 57 Echo downwind for runway two three. I want to get VAT Sim and start flying with air traffic control because I think that would be super fun. Brush up on all my radio skills, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's uh, get ourselves slowed down just a little bit. Get into the white arc. Mine is the box next to me. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Very nice. Okay, let's get our first notch of flaps in. Sirius 57 Echo turning base leg runway 23 Echo Camp. Can approach Sears 57 Echo turning final runway 23 57 Echo. Oh, we're going to butter the bread, guys, right here. This is going to look good. 500. 500, right on final, right on the mark. It's beautiful. Got our airspeed right about 85 or so, 87 knots, which is good. You want 85 coming across the numbers. 80 to 85. I like to come in a little hotter than normal. I don't want to be coming in at stall speed. All right, let's just drop this old thing right in here, shall we? We got 4,000 feet of runway in front of us. It's not like being five knots too fast is going to hurt too much. There it is. Look at that. ourselves up the runway. Hacker can ground, Sears 57 Echo, back taxi runway 232 parking. Can ground Sears 57 Echo to parking via taxiway Bravo clear of runway 57 Echo. Nice, there we go. Actually, fly the Sears out of here with my friend Mike. It's a nice little place. All right, end main menu. Continue. Continue. Now, I want to do something else that makes me happy. Hey, Faded Adam, how's it going, dude? I just saw your Twitch comment. Sorry that, uh... Um, no, this is Coffeehouse Airways that I'm live on, uh, Kyoix. It's, uh, coffeehouse underscore gaming. Here, I'll just put a link to it. I'm gonna go do this. What airport do we want to fly out of? 
Ooh, let's do Sedona. Where we just flew out of the Cessna. Oh, they improved the helicopter? Very nice. I actually fly helicopters, so I think that would be pretty fun. I want to fly this out of Sedona. I haven't done it yet. I love this little thing. It's so much fun to fly. Runway 2-1 departure. Um, Kyoix, I'm going to put my other Twitch channel in here for you. gaming channel so that's the old shadow squad channel from when we used to do so that's where i stream fortnite and all that stuff all right guys let's uh, depart sedona on a little ultralight fly around see what we can see over here all over the runway i never do this in the cessna because i never can the flight instructor is always yelling at me. Airbus H-135. Yeah, is that at flightsim.co or is that somewhere else? Where do I get that, Monty? Taylor craft flight. Why did it just crash me? I didn't even hit anything. And if I did hit something, I apologize. Maybe I hit the ground when I looked away at the chats. When are you doing a Taylor craft flight? Um, I don't know yet. I got to get back. Uh, my one buddy has a Cirrus, still lives in Florida for the winter, and I haven't got in touch with anybody yet as far as getting up. So, um, a friend, another friend of mine that uh, I know from church has a Cessna 172, so I may go get up with him to get in the air, make some, make some content, have some fun. But I, if I was going to fly a Taylor Craft again, I'd probably have to go buy one. Flightsim.co, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll look into getting that, because I think the helicopter would be super fun. Flightsim.co, Taylor Adam, you say you finally got to do your introductory flight. What did you think of it? I think I follow it. Oh, okay, good. Sounds good, Kaiwix. Stop in and say hi. We've had uh, Lucid, Edge, and a bunch of people that are from the old Mixer days are still in there. What's up, Pipebot? How's it going, man? You're having a good day. I'm flying around over Sedona, Arizona. Just checking out some things. Doing some flying. This flying makes me happy. Hope you're having a happy Monday, sir. I'm great. You? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. I just wanted to fly today. I haven't flown in a little while, so here we are. And I just put the link in my Twitch channel. I followed it. Oh, awesome. Thanks so much. I will see you on there. We've been playing a lot of Fortnite. I've been streaming that quite a bit. This new season's really fun. It's a big hang glider. I know. This thing's amazing. It's called an Aerolite 103. It's a little ultralight with a Rotax motor on it. I want to buy one of these, too. I want to buy too many things, guys. It's a motorcycle in the sky, so it's six. Thanks for the follow, Kyoix. On the other coffee house channel. You could once try to land and fly along the Grand Canyon. I did that already, but I'll do it again. 
You didn't see that, Rudiger? I thought you were in that stream when we flew down through the Grand Canyon. I took off at Glen Canyon Dam and flew down through. I can do that now, actually. I'm going to fly up over those big rocks, because that's what I turn when I'm in the Cessna. I turn because of those rocks. I don't see what they look like. It sounds like a motorbike. I know. It's like a motorcycle in the sky. It's so fun. I love this thing. The most fun I ever had, I've told you guys this before, in real life flying was this. Flying one of these was literally the most fun ever. Oh, okay, I'll fly down through there again, Rudiger. It's fun, the Grand Canyon looks really cool. We're gonna thread the needle through these rocks right here. Want, 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 but you can't always get, 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 I suppose. I know, right? Such is life in the big city. peaceful type of recreational flying you can do, honestly, is through and did one of these. Nice sunny day, floating along, and you can see literally everything, even down between your feet. It's amazing. Alright, I'm going to go back over and land at Sedona Airport and fly down through the Grand Canyon for my friend Rudy. Sounds good. I just saw a video of a guy flying his RC around Devil's Needle in Arizona. I hope that's the right name of the landmark. I don't know. We can look and see if it's a POI in here. That would be kind of fun. Sedona traffic, here like 103. Inbound 45 degrees from the southwest approach for runway. I don't even know what the runway is. I'm not familiar with this airport. So, inbound for a full stop land. thing do this this airplane is so glitchy i've done some of the nicest landings in this airplane and it still glitches me and says that i crashed get the heck out of here bro all right let's go to the world map let's go to search let's go to devil's needle nope Devil's Tower. Oh, that's a different landmark. Devil's Tower is in Wyoming. Right here. This is Devil's Tower. Devil's Tower is in Wyoming. I've flown Devil's Tower before too, but we will go check it out. Set us departure. We'll fly that in the little arrow light as well. Yeah, here's Devil's Tower. We did this one one night, too, in our POIs that we were flying around. Hey, what's up, Drew Dave? Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're having a good day, man. Hope you enjoyed your stream. 
That game was trippy, bro. Alright, here's Devil's Tower right over here. Another thing, the Iluru that's over in Australia, that was like this too, really just crazy cool. Is that in or do you have to put it in? No, this is in there by default. You just type in Devil's Tower into the POIs and it'll come right up. Look at those beautiful graphics, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just flying my, uh, my flying motorcycle around the Devil's Tower here. <laughs> I think it does really sound like a motorcycle. I know, I think about that, uh, Rudiger. How did this thing get here? It certainly would be fun to have an ultralight like this, put it in a box trailer, and then just travel all over the United States with the box trailer behind my Jeep, and then just pull off to the side of the road, pull out the ultralight, and go fly all these different locations like this, and then land, and put the ultralight back in the, the Jeep, and then go to the next one. That'd be amazing. All right, let's go in for a closer look. said the same thing. I wonder if you can land on it. Let's try it. Yeah, it looks pretty awesome, right? I love the graphics in this game. Pretty cool. Hey, Mint Halazane. Thanks so much for liking my stream. Don't forget to hit the follow button, everybody, if you are on Facebook. If you're on Twitch, hit that subscribe or that uh, follow button. If you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. All the buttons. I'll throw that out here. Alright, let's line up and see. Yeah, my friend John climbed some of it whenever they went out there. Him and his wife. It was pretty fun. He said they enjoyed it. Alright, let's line up for a landing route here. Thousand stars! Oh my gosh, Drew Dave, bro! You shouldn't have. Thank you so much, dude. You're amazing. Insert random username here has followed. Thanks so much, uh, insert random username. I appreciate the follow on Twitch. 
I'm just screwing around today, just flying for fun. Tonight we're going to do some BS, BFR and IFR flight training lessons. But yeah, we're uh, doing lots of flying content, content on this channel, so I appreciate you for the like and follow. Alright, let's drop some flaps, see if we can land on this bird. Or land this bird right on the, the top of this thing. It's probably going to crash. Yep, it's not gonna let me. Is it higher than Uluru? Um, I don't know. I haven't done the research to find out what uh, what heights everything is at, so I don't know. Uluru is absolutely huge. You guys want to see that? It's pretty crazy. Is this live players? Yes. Yep, I have live players set up, so people come in and stream snipe me all the time and fly with me. It's pretty fun. Um, let's get in this airplane to do the Aluru one because it's a little bit better of an airplane to fly. Here we go. Um, let's go to... We're going to change our call sign here too because this is the coffee house. So let's put our coffee house thing on here. There we go. Now it'll say coffee house on the side of my airplane. Enter. Flight conditions. Daytime. Let's go to Iluru. Alright, there we go. Probably not daytime over here though. Alright, so here is Iluru. This is the uh, this is the Australian version. The only thing they did in Australia is bloody airs rock. Oh, that's not fun. I think they have this in here because I've flown Uluru here, and I think this is—is is this in Australia or New Zealand? Hey, Marcos, what's going on on YouTube? Hey, this mountain is prehistorical old tree. Oh, I did not know that. That's kind of interesting. Why does it default me to day or to nighttime, even though I clearly set it during the day? All right, so here is the Aluru. So I don't know if it's higher or not. I would assume, but this is so massive, it's hard to tell. I tried to land on here too, and in the Piper Cub I was able to, but it didn't really, it was so bumpy. It wasn't really Oh yeah, so Devil's Tower is definitely taller by a lot. So there you go, there is Iluru. Key. Stop flipping back and forth. I want the sideways view. Okay, guys, that's getting super irritating. I wish there was a way to hit that button and just make it lock there. Hey, who's stream sniping me? Look at this. Who do we got? Who's over here? Hey, what's going on, Reaper? Thanks so much for hanging out. You got that big jet going low and slow, don't you? Alice Springs Airport. Something's going on with my airplanes today, guys. Because, like, look, when I let off, now this airplane wants to go crooked. I really wish they would get 
some of this stuff worked out. I fly this plane all the time and I've never had any trouble with it, and now all of a sudden it wants to go crooked. Not cool, bro. Buzz by a jet plane, heck yeah. I'm gonna try to buzz the jet plane. sad when he's going slower than me. Yeah, like now my trim is at 89%. Look, the airplane wants to do loops when I'm not touching. This is bonkers how this game does. Alright, I gotta get out of there because I can't even control my airplane right now. F12 for a photo. Hey, what's up, Jose? How's it going? Rudiger use 50 stars. Thanks for the sightseeing tour, brother. Oh, thanks for the stars, Rudiger. I appreciate it. I will do all kinds of those. I love sightseeing tours. Fly on the Rainbow Mountains in Peru. Okay, let's see if those are in there. Rainbow. How's it going, Jose? I hope you're having a good day today. Jose from Brazil. Let's try Rainbow. POI. Rainbow Bridge, Rainbow Bridge. So I don't know where the Rainbow Mountains are in Peru. Does anyone know an airport code, Marcos, that would be close to that? All right, let's go to Google. Rainbow mountains in Peru closest air port Um, insert random name here. I don't know how to do that because this is actually based on Bing Maps. And I'm not sure... If you can put the... Uh, if you can get the longitude and latitude and put it into Twitch there, I'll copy it and put it in and see if it works. Is this the same thing, Marco? One of the most dangerous airports to land at. Near Cusco in Peru. Is this the same as Rainbow Mountain? Here, let's see if Machu Picchu is a is a POI. Yeah, I don't know how to find that one. I may have to do some research and do that one on another stream.
Yeah, I don't know. Alright, let's do something else for a little bit. I'm gonna go... I'll see if I can look that one up, Marcos, and see if I can find it. And then I'll, uh... Do you fly a biplane? I have flown in a biplane one time in my life. It was pretty fun. But I don't actually fly one myself, no. It'd be a fun airplane to own, but a Pitts S2 is a very dangerous airplane to fly if you don't know how to fly one. They're very squirrely on ground. Um, a lot of pilots have ground looped and got themselves hurt and or killed in Pitts. They're a very, very specific airplane you gotta learn a lot about to fly. Yeah, the Pitts S2 is the one that was in there just a minute ago. I've flown it a couple times. It's pretty fun. But man, is it squirrely. You guys love your jets, don't you? <laughs> there he is. Let's go. It is beautiful, isn't it? This is Lake Erie right up above Cleveland up here where I'm from. How this guy is keeping a A320 or a 7 whatever airplane that is slowed down to the speed of a Piper Cub, I will never know. Good on you.
That is amazing. Look at that, guys. Can't go wrong with the I know, right? Yeah, he's definitely flying at stall speed trying to keep up with the Cub. This is so awesome. Look at this. Flying formation with a jet. I don't have the F-15, Hansi. I don't have all the airplanes downloaded yet. Fun fact, that would be me. I assume so, yeah. That's pretty amazing. percent fuel. Oh, you lighten it up. I gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. House in German, just saw it. Yep, coffee house. I didn't spell coffee in German too because I figured not too many people would know what that is then and then they would just be like, oh. There's a screenshot for you, look at that. Lima International Airport. Okay, we'll go check it out. Alright, let's try that. Let's do Lima International Airport and check out Rainbow Mountain. It's in Vinicunca. Let's see if we can find it. And this little airplane seems to be flying nicely, so we'll stick with that. 
Runway, L-I-M-A, Lima International. This one it? Oh, it is the Jorge Chavez International. Okay. Is in Lima. Pinacunca. So is Rainbow Mountain to the north, to the south? Cuzco. How far away is that? Alright, so let's try this. Let's go find Cuzco Vinicunca. Oh my, that's a ways. Okay, so there's three lakes and it's in between those two. Let's go see if we can find that. And it's northwest of a huge lake. Okay, there's the huge lake. It's gotta be right here. right here somewhere.
All right, well, let's just try that. Let's just try this as like a departure point and see what we got. WX53 at sunset is very nice. What is WX53? Yes, if you type exclamation point discord, it should bring up my discord on Twitch. It doesn't work on YouTube and Facebook, though. That's a two-hour flight. I know, Rudiger, that's crazy. That's really far. We'll see if this will get us in the ballpark. I drank coffee from Peru, and it was really, really good. Speaking of coffee, I'm going to need to go make some of that. Because I am starting to yawn, and that's never a good sign, especially when you're in the skies. Alright, let's back this thing down. 16,000 feet mountain flying, indeed. Oh, it only says coffee how. Come on. Not cool, bro. Coffee how. Maybe I need a longer airplane to be able to get that. at 3 p.m. working too much. I know, Rudiger. That is the key. Alright, well, we're in the mountains of Peru. I just don't know where. I have to get the longitude and latitude thing. WX-53 is an airstrip. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's really, really thin air up here, dude. But I'm doing 100 knots, so... But I'm at 16,000 feet up here, so, like, this thing is really struggling to want to climb. aggressive prop on here to be able to fly in this kind of thin air. can't get above 500 feet AGL on this thing. It won't let me climb. Mountain flying is a uh, tricky business.
Yeah, this is really high elevation for a plane like this. Probably not gonna work. I see a loot llama. Yeah, some verde, uh, some board, some VGs. That would probably help keep the air sticking to the wing a little bit better. Leading edge slats, vortex generators. I'm with you, Rudiger. I agree. Pretty country, though, I'll say that. Yep, it's uh, time for some coffee for me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm way past my second cup for today. I know, right? Look at those lens flares. Yeah, it really is. This is pretty amazing. What's really crazy is that I'm at 56 knots and can't get my climb at full throttle. I definitely think I've hit the operating ceiling for this particular aircraft. Because any second, we're going to be landing at full speed. There it is, guys. Take advantage of ground effect. Yeah, it's just too hard to fly that kind of an airplane up there. There's not enough power. Not enough power. try this landing challenge again because my friend Ride and Fred beat me at this the other day. I need to see if I can get a better one than him. Wind is six at one nine four, and runway is two two. So we got a little bit of a left crosswind there. I don't fly this airplane much. It's a bigger 
trim for level flight here. A little too far. I did deploy the landing gear. All right, guys, I am tired and I need coffee, so I'm not flying well anymore, and it's probably time to take a break. So I will be back and fly some more later tonight with some VFR and IFR flight lessons. Hey, Ken Kirchner, thanks for liking my stream. I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. I appreciate it. It is time to uh, get some coffee, do a couple things, and I will see you all back here later tonight. Thanks for hanging out. All nice dark roast. Okay, there we go. I think everything like froze up on me for a second. I wonder if my internet like went down. Yeah, it's definitely time to uh, end stream, I think. Well, if you guys are still here, I apologize. That was kind of weird. I just had a glitch in my entire system. So anyway, I will see you guys tonight um, for some more flying. I'm going to do my lessons tonight, and uh, hopefully that goes really well. So you guys have a good day, and uh, 